Hey there, my name is Lisa Rila, and today we are going to be talking about Marvel. Specifically, who is actually able to lift Thor's hammer? One of the first on this list, obviously, is Captain America. He's seen multiple times lifting a Thor's hammer in the comics. It's actually something that Marvel like to throw around that they can do. It's something that both Thor and Captain America seem to like throwing in the other Avengers faces. The constant use of Cap using Thor's hammer. The next is Better Ray Bill, who is an alien. He was one of the first outside of like Asgardians who wielded the hammer. He accidentally picked up the hammer. He thought he was picking up something else. I don't really know how that works, but he did. In fact, he was the first one to pick up Thor's hammer. Next, Ragnarok. Because, of course, the big bad can pick up the hammer. He's essentially a clone of Thor. So, it, it seems fair that he can pick it up. I mean, that makes a, a bit of sense. The next is the Incredible Hulk. Red Hulk is also another character that can pick up Thor's hammer. Awesome Android also was able to hold Thor's hammer. Though, his was a bit circumstantial. He wouldn't be able to hold it generally, but he became Thor for a little while, so he was able to wield Mojanir. I'm really glad I could pronounce that, I almost couldn't. I was so scared to pronounce that name. Whoops. <laughs> Bonus! Okay, so there are a couple that don't really count. In the Marvel DC crossover, both Wonder Woman and Superman were deemed worthy of holding Thor's hammer. And Deadpool got to hold a fake one that he thought was real, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, he got to hold a fake hammer. It, it counts, I guess. And that does it for this. I am, I am going to include links from IGN, Marvel, like the website for Marvel.com, and Business Insider, because that's where I got my information from. <laughs> So those links will be down below if you want to go read about them. I hope you guys like it. Um, starting this week, there will be videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday, Friday. Monday will be a PlayStation 2 platform game of some kind. Generally, I think at the moment, it is going to be Spyro or Hero's Tale. And then Wednesdays will be a video like this, or anime-based, or a vlog, or a random small game. And then Fridays will be Telltale Games-based. Starting first off with Jurassic Park, episode 1, and then The Walking Dead, episode 1. And I will keep alternating between episodes between the two until both are finished for their first seasons. I don't know if I'll go into season 2 of The Walking Dead, it depends if anyone actually likes watching it. I mean there are only a few of you guys, but anyone watching it? Is anyone watching it? I guess? Yay? Anyway. And then... I think it's in two weeks. The beginning from the 1st of July till the 31st of July, I will be uploading a video every day for VEDJ, which is video every day in July. Um, you can adjust it for every month. It can be VEDA for all April, August. VEDA is what some people call it, but I couldn't find a good way to pronounce VEDJ. They all sounded dodgy. <laughs> So I'm just going to keep saying B-E-D-J. Anyway, thanks again for watching. I will see you on Friday. And yeah, be sure to comment, leave a like maybe, subscribe if you're new here. It doesn't get any better than this, I'm just as awkward as always. Anyway, bye! Now, there were a few I didn't include for reasons like it's Thor, but he's a frog, and yeah. <laughs>